Hey there, welcome back to the channel. It's John here, and uh, yeah, we're back into story time. If you don't remember story time, I did one of these uh, a week or so ago, um, but this time um, we're, I'm doing it even more different than the last time. Lucas's idea was to, why don't we both have a conversation like I did last time with the story, but both of us together on call. So I got Lucas here. How's it going, buddy? Hey, good. How's it going? Good, good. Uh, yeah, so the, the idea is the same. I'm going to just kind of tinker around. And you may hear me and or Lucas talk about our different maps. He's not in my map. He's on his own. And we're just going to be kind of shooting the stuff, shooting the breeze uh, while we play Minecraft at the same time. So welcome to this wonderful new series. This this topic is going to be based on um, all the wonderful new video games that are going to be coming out in the, uh, in the near future. And then whatever else we happen to chat about as well, obviously. We're, we're, we're human. We're going to be talking about all kinds of random crap anyway. Yeah, we'll kind of like go all different directions because that's what we do right exactly um but uh i will say as someone who you know plays video games for a living yeah i know very little about video games you know i i tend to only like pay attention to the stuff i'm truly interested in like yeah. if i see something really cool that pops up on tiktok or on youtube um i'll watch that but it's very far and few between or when like a friend like yourself will mention hey john check this out and I'll go online right, and check it out. Right. But it's, it'll be a game that's been out for years, though. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Something that's like, hey, I want to play this two-player game with you. And it's like, yeah, it came out six years ago, but it looks cool. It looks cool. Let's go ahead and check it out. Yeah, it's, it's uh, kind of where it, where it boils down to. And um, there there are a lot of games coming out for the end of this year. A lot of games came out th throughout the year. Um, none that I was really interested in except for... Oh, I don't think I can make this jump. <laughs> 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 Um, none that I was super interested in, except for what the heck is going on? Oh, it's what not raining. On? It sounded like it was raining in my game, but it's sprinklers yeah. going nuts outside. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Oh, dude, do I can I make this jump? Uh. Um, anyway, so uh, the the only game I really was really really truly interested in was like Baldur's Gate, and I didn't really I got in I got into it for a second. No, I'm not making this. Uh, anyway. <laughs> um. But I, I didn't end up getting it. Ethan ended up getting it, and he likes it, but he ended up returning it. Really? Yeah. Why? I, I, he said it was just too too boring for him. It was too generic. Really? Yeah. He said it was it was fun, but it was too not not his speed. He didn't right. really care for my, it. My uh, roommate loves Baldur's Gate. He hasn't like stopped playing it since he got it. Oh, really? And, yeah, it's all he does is play Baldur's Gate. <laughs> <laughs> uh. yeah. Not Not here. <laughs> Did you ever play the, uh, what do you call it, the Assassin's Creed series at all? I played one Assassin's Creed game forever ago. Honestly, I want to say it was like PlayStation 2. Did they make Assassin's Creed for PlayStation 2? They, I believe they did, yes. If it wasn't that, then it was PlayStation, like PSP, PlayStation Portable. But uh, yeah, I, I'm not big into Assassin's Creed. I know a little bit about it. Uh, I know when I used to play with my friend, they were like, <laughs> big into stealth missions and doing everything stealthy and i just go guns a blazing or <laughs> you know that's, whatever uh, that's funny that you mentioned that uh, there's a um a, you remember the game splinter cell splinter cell i do i remember the name so it was like uh it was like a uh an undercover you were basically an assassin but not an assassin you were uh undercover on whatever mission you had to go in and you couldn't sound any alarms or anything kind of like the assassin creed, uh, creed games go where you got to stay right. super incognito Yep. But you had like, you know, night vision goggles and snipers and knives and you had to go in super quiet and not get noticed. Well, they're remastering the game. They're actually redoing the entire game. There is okay. no set date. They were supposed to release it this year, but there's no set date for, for its actual release. Um, but from what I'm gathering from the different conventions that everybody's been talking about, it, it looks very, very interesting and it looks a lot of fun. I, <laughs> the only part that I'm finding odd is that I remember playing that game on PlayStation because I never had another console. I had PlayStation 1, I had PlayStation 2. And right. uh, it's claiming that it's going to be only on Xbox. And I'm like, okay, cool, maybe Xbox bought it um, because they've been buying everything lately, you know? Yeah. Uh, but they're saying that it was only on Xbox as a release, and I honestly <laughs> don't remember that. I'm drawing a total brain fart. Yeah, I actually wouldn't have any idea if I did. I think I did play it once. But I thought my friend had a P, uh, PlayStation as well, not a Xbox, so I don't know. Yeah, I didn't have an Xbox until Xbox 360. Actually, that's where I was introduced to this game, to, to Minecraft. Right. You know? That's and kind of where I started on Minecraft, too, Xbox 360. On Xbox 360? That's crazy. 
Yeah, the, the, the fact uh, that they just kind of discontinued the whole Xbox 360 altogether was yeah. kind of sad. Um, you know, another game that was supposed to come out, you know, last year, this year, and still no set date. What's that? Hightail. Dude, you know, I was going to mention that too. We've been waiting for how long for this damn game? I want to see this game so badly. I was super excited for it. Uh, so and... I was like, uh, I'm super hyped for, for the game because it was... The, the way they made it sound, the way they even shoot, the way they made it even look, it yes. looks so freaking good. Like, it could blow Minecraft out of the water. I, it's not going to replace Minecraft because I love freaking Minecraft. But <laughs> it, it could blow Minecraft out of the water. It's got it's got a very good potential of doing so. Yeah. Um, but I think what, what's happened with them is, you have you heard of feature creep? You're in programming. You know what feature creep is, right? I do. Yeah. So, like, you know, uh, for those of you that don't know, it's like when... Uh, when you have a basic project, like say you, you want to build a castle. Let me use, I'm going to use really, really basic terms. I want to build a castle in Minecraft. I'm like, no, I want to build a moat too. Then no, I don't, want, I don't want to build a moat. I also want to build a village farm. I also want to build an iron farm. But I want to do all this stuff, and I never get done with the castle because I do all these other things. That's adding features Everything to just your, stacks on top of exactly. it. Exactly. It's adding features to your build, which is cool, but you want to finish your initial build first. That's why a lot of uh, contractors... Like general contractors, a lot of their homes are usually not done because of that same same reason. <laughs> they'll, right. start, they'll start work on their home. They'll be like, oh, what about this project? Oh, what about this project? And keep on going. Freaking funny. Oh, I found this village, and the, these villagers are totally broke. They ain't got no no money. No money? They ain't got no nothing. It's getting nighttime here. I'm yeah, going to try to find something. It's my nighttime, too, but... and I'm trying to get to sleep, but the villagers keep getting in my way. Okay, thanks, homie. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Got me some uh... sweet dreams. I was really excited for Hightail, too, because when I first announced it, I was working for uh, Pat, right? Right. And oh, dude, he was going to have that long early ago? Access. Holy crap. Yeah. He was going to have early access to it and everything, so I was going to start developing in that. And then oh. I stopped working for Pat's and started working for Log.zip, and they, too, were going to have early access to it, and they wanted us to be able to be able to program and code and develop in that game. Well, of course. And it's like, yeah, that's fine. So that's, I was going to have early access to this game, and I've still not seen it. I know. It's it's freaking crazy, the fact that it's taken so long. And I understand they're trying to make it perfect, but what's, they, they keep introducing. I mean, it's, it's been a while since they've introduced anything for the game, honestly. Um, yeah. But I think keep... the problem is, too, is they, they are trying to come out better than Minecraft. Because if they come out the same or a little bit worse than Minecraft, everyone's going to be like, this is trash. This is just another Minecraft knockoff. Right. Kind of like everything else that's come out. Yes. And I get so. that. But if they could just release the core game, I think they'd be miles ahead already. Because the things that they're trying to add on, all the plugins and all the add-ons that are not, not plugins or add-ons in that game, they're just part of the game. You know what I mean? Right. Th that stuff there, they're still adding more and more and more. And they're, they're making it really, I mean, it's going to be really immense. It's going to probably be a really amazing game when it does release. But yeah. are the people that were hyped for it then going to still be hyped for it when it does? You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. I mean, the stuff they have shown of the game is already incredibly beautiful and high detailed and that, amazing. Like, that's what I'm getting at. It just doesn't just, make I any sense. <laughs> yeah, it just doesn't make any sense that they keep pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. And I understand game development is not easy. Anybody who says, hey, why don't they just hurry up and do this? is not really thinking ahead but it's been many yeah. years and they've been well well funded well it's been many many years where they said yeah we're going to be releasing it next year too exactly like, this was supposed to be i'm pretty sure this was like originally announced for like 2020 yeah but then covid hit and that was a good that's an excuse i mean that's a fair excuse you know yeah uh, covid hit and no one was able to do jack nothing um but but it's been quite so many years later <laughs> and uh you get a pass for a little while, and then it's just like, come on, homie, what 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 you doing? Yeah, I'm really hoping that the game's not just gone dead, and I hope they're still working on it. Oh, could you I've imagine? I've not seen any updates. Oh, that would game. be heartbreaking. Honestly, would be heartbreaking. Yes. Oh man, I couldn't. I really couldn't imagine if they if they went that route and just said, "Sorry, guys, we had all this money, but we're not gonna make it anymore." <laughs> and it wouldn't be the first time that a company has done that, though. No, it's, not at all. Promise something, they take people's. Back, what is it? There used to be a website for that kind of stuff. It's like a, a Kickstarter. You back up a project. Yeah, Kickstarter. That's Kickstarter, where people yeah. would just take the money and then. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah sorry, this thing actually failed. So yeah, there, money, there are but... plenty of companies that still do that. They'll just take your money and run. Yeah. 
and it's sad, but it's a fact of life, unfortunately. And uh, the, uh, fortunately for us, these are investors and not like just regular everyday people that are investing in the company uh, to Hypixel for um, for build for making Hytale. That's good then. Yeah, um, one of them is I think Riot Games chipped in. I want to say chipped in because, but it's a lot of money. I think it's like a couple million dollars. Wow, that's crazy. But yeah. it makes sense. Right. You'd think if they're going to, like, what is it, sponsor or chip in or invest into the company, there'd be some kind of uh, promise or contract that says they have to release something. Eventually. At least, like, a preliminary, a freaking beta, an alpha, something. Yeah. And we know that's where they're going to start. That's where they're going to freaking release those first. But we have, we've literally seen nothing from it. Yeah, I have... Uh... I don't know how it works with Minecraft. Um, I, I imagine any block-based game yeah. is covered under some kind of... I just died to an Enderman. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to find my way back here. Oh, no. Uh, it's under some kind of copyright laws, aren't there? Like, what do you mean? Like, every knockoff Minecraft game, could could uh, Mojang or Microsoft not, like, sue? Could they sue? I don't think they own the rights to a block-based game. I think they own... Well, do they? I don't know. That's a freaking good question, dude. Yeah. So like, I don't know. I feel I, like there'd be some kind of worries with infringing, like infringing on Mojang's copyright or whatever. Uh, yeah, on Microsoft's. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. You know, I really don't know. That's a good freaking question. I want to build a boat. Congrats. I, I need to find my freaking stuff. <laughs> Did you lose all oh, your Nikes? Oh. Uh, so what else is coming out this year? I saw a trailer. I did see one brief trailer on. A new Super Mario, like, uh, platformer game coming an out. An RPG. There's an RPG coming out? RPG for Mo- so for Super Mario. It's getting okay, released. Hold cool. on a second. Let's see. I have it here. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars releases November 17th. Okay, the- that's not the game I saw, but that sounds freaking amazing. Yeah, there is another Mario game. Where is it? I did see that on my list. It's like a... Th- it's like a 2D platformer again, but it's done in like a 3D art style. Yes. And it looks, and it looks okay. I mean, it looks like I mean, everything it, else that, that, that Nintendo makes that style. Right. So it's probably going to be fun because, I mean, if you've played like even like the uh, – it's it almost plays like a, a Pokemon game or um, – oh, what's the other Mario game? Uh, Mario Odyssey. It plays like that, that style of game. Super Mario, one, uh, Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Is what it's called. Yeah, Odyssey was more like a 3D world where you could like free roam. Yeah, I don't this think is like that, a 2D platformer. Is it 2D platformer? I don't know. This is called uh, Super Mario Wonder, and it releases October 20th, and it looked very 3D to me. Yeah, but it's it could be the 3D wrong... art style, but I'm pretty sure it's a 2D platformer. Oh, is it? But hmm, yeah, that would be a very interesting game, kind of like yeah. Mario Paper. Do you remember that game? Yes, that's kind of the vibe I got from it. Okay. So I wonder if they're going to release something else. Because like, honestly, Mario Paper was a fun game. I haven't played it in years, but it's it was a fun <laughs> game to play. Um, oh, speaking of odd blocky games, uh, Roblox. Uh, when was the last time you jumped into a, Rob- a game of Roblox? Dude, last time I played Roblox was probably like with you. I think that was the last time I played Roblox as well. Was I you and I Roblox jumping in so much. You know, I, I don't hate Roblox. I just I, I find it hard to get into Roblox myself because I maybe because I'm not into the world I don't play it every single day like Minecraft or it's hard right. for me to, to get like super thrilled about the game they are and I had no idea that they didn't release this I thought it was released on every platform to begin with I'm at my second village now <laughs> uh, <laughs> congrats I'm starting fresh <laughs> um. They are releasing it for PlayStation 5. Actually, for PlayStation 4 and then playable on PlayStation 5, which is okay. interesting. I had no idea that it wasn't on there. I, I never downloaded it on my PlayStation because I only play right. Fortnite on my PlayStation. <laughs> it's pretty much it. I mean, we probably have like a huge library on there, but I don't play very many games on there. Um, I haven't played a console in years. Well, you have a Switch. Okay, valid. I, I don't know. I, I don't consider Switch so much it's as a console. It's totally a console. It's just a handheld. <sighs> it's a handheld. It's a handheld but, console. <laughs> I don't know. Last Nintendo console, maybe the Nintendo Wii, but I would go as far back as almost GameCube. Holy cow, dude. What? Well, you said that you, you had a 360. Well, yeah, no. I had a 360. I had a um, that Xbox was newer, One. That's I'm newer than the GameCube. Like, Nin- I'm just talking about Nintendo in general. Like, oh, Nintendo in general. I don't consider the I see. Switch or the... Uh, Wii U 
um, so much a console as like a handheld. Oh, absolutely, they're consoles. One hundred percent. One hundred percent consoles. I'll fight you on this one. <laughs> You'll fight me. On <laughs> I'll this fight one. you on this one. <laughs> uh, I don't know. If it, when I see your, your console, I don't. I just think like uh, something with more power than a, a Nintendo Switch. Well, I mean, Switch has I mean, the the new one at least. The older one, the one I have is uh 720p which is it's not great but it's not crap either i mean i don't think so at least plays pretty well it looks good on tv <laughs> <laughs> i had whatever switch i had uh, it was probably one of the newer ones because i bought it while i was just before treatments oh and... yeah yours is probably the oled version but it wasn't oled it was not oled oh okay then it couldn't then it's handle the same... minecraft it had what it could barely handle minecraft really yeah, like I was loading Minecraft World and... Like it was struggling? The, yeah, it was struggling to load the world. It was so laggy. What? So, I don't know. I just, I don't... I feel like a console should not lag that much. I think I own Minecraft on every console you can think of at this point. Except for PlayStation 3. I don't own it for PlayStation 3. And then PC, how many versions I have on there, I don't even know. I can't even count. I probably spent <laughs> a few hundred dollars on, on Minecraft, uh, just licenses alone. Right, just licenses. I think I've got three accounts, and then I have Bedrock. So whatever, whatever those that, costs. Yeah, exactly. You're <laughs> you're into it for a hundred bucks. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Plus, how many ever freaking conventions we've been to? Yeah, speak for yourself. I've never been to a single convention. Oh, you're all the way up there. That's right. You're far, There's far like away. There's like nothing I in know. Ontario. I know. You're so far away from everything. You're not uh, that far away. You're on the East Coast. I mean, they were going to be doing uh, the Minecon in, in Florida again, but uh, they I think they said hell no after all the stuff that's been happening there. Yeah, I would imagine. Yeah, so um, they're like, no, we're going to hold off, and it's indefinitely on hold at this point. So okay. we'll see what happens. Because I, I was know, really uh, excited for that, but I, I wasn't going to fly to – after all the stuff that's happened there, I wasn't going to be flying to Florida anytime soon. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not going to hold my breath, but I know uh, Jack, like Becro Jack, yeah. says that he's hoping to do a work retreat to some convention next year. That's so cool. So that might be cool. That'd be my first ever convention, right? So it'd be kind of cool to go with other people who are for sure in the same community. And I mean, it depends on the convention, too. Like some of them will, will have you as guests. Like we when Mindfair was around before they just tanked over COVID and stole everybody's money. Um, yeah. <laughs> They uh they would invite uh people that had lower uh subscriber counts um for up and coming Minecraft content creators and really, we, that's cool yeah so we got to go and and hang out and do the whole convention thing and got to meet a bunch of really cool um larger YouTubers and it was it was just a lot of fun I really enjoyed it like uh, uh, no oh, Jack is at the uh, is it Cayman whatever the whatever convention is in the Cayman Islands this weekend oh, he's wow. there as a guest speaker so oh is he that's what we got talking about it but um it oh. looks really cool i'd love to go to an actual convention yeah yeah i got to speak at that one at that mind fair one it was a lot of fun cool it was really cool but that's where i got to meet oh shoot what was his name i can't remember his the youtuber's name for the life of me um <laughs> i think he played uh he played the the voice of crafty oh parker yeah parker we got to help him set up his booth and break it down and hung out with him and ate food and stuff oh, that's it was pretty cool. cool i only made like 500 uh <laughs> maps for the dude <laughs> yeah 500 maps no, i'm probably between around 60 to 80 for sure that's nuts yeah. dude you were there for like there what, for a year and a half years. almost two years almost I, two a years. year and a half yeah yeah okay but still dude that's a yeah. lot of maps think about that for a second break that down in just the we amount of weeks you were there yeah that's freaking crazy it's literally think... all, all over one a week got uh what do you want to call it? like a little award for one of, i was tied with another developer on the team okay the most amount of projects developed okay so that was kind of cool that is really cool so it's fun what you're saying is you got an award for for them working you to death i'm just kidding exactly <laughs> <laughs> i got an award for being really good at my job and then being let go because i was too good at my job and that's they didn't want to usually me. the case yeah that's that's the way it usually works out. They're like, oh, look, look, you 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 uh you do a lot of lot of work for us. We're just gonna we're gonna let you go. I hope you don't mind. Yeah, 
Oh, you uh, you use your own money to pay for a mod that we use in ninety percent of our videos now. Okay, great. We're gonna let you go. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna let you go now. You, you don't mind, right? No, you're good. Okay, no. cool. Yeah, no, thanks. It's just my entire livelihood for you guys. <laughs> that I just committed to. I worked how many overtime hours? How many? Oh, I was so mad. Oh, I bet. <laughs> I mean, it's just just got to be frustrating. I mean, and you're yeah. you're not the only one in that boat. You know what I mean? There's so many people that go through the same go through the same thing, and it's just frustrating to watch watch that happen over and over again and i find with the uh youtube community maybe not community but like employment status it's such a what's the word i want um volatile career path i i can see that it depends entirely on if that youtuber is getting good views Uh, yeah it's literally on how well they did on their last video yeah (laughs) that's what it boils down to is it zeepkist that does the the racetrack type of uh, i i love that game yeah i know yeah. you do uh have you ever played the, the hot wheels games i have not so hot wheels i've seen them right there's that hot wheels unleashed which is forever ago it's like not a new game by any means right yeah. they're releasing a new version of it called hot wheel unleashed 2 <laughs> oh creative name <laughs> super creative well it's called uh <laughs> turbocharged uh it's gonna be okay. on every console and pc and uh holy cow is it does it look really freaking cool it looks like really? Zekiss that's polished. So you, okay, you have the, have the regular racing, you know, like yeah. racing regular Hot Wheels tracks. But then you also have that style of build your own track and race other people's tracks where you can, you know, join in and stuff like that. Yeah. It looks like a lot of freaking fun. I'm super cool. excited to freaking try it out <laughs> one of these days. I saw, these? I've seen a couple of YouTubers play um, Lego's new racing game. It's actually really cool because as you crash into things, you start losing Lego pieces off your vehicle. That's cool. And uh, it's been fun watching them actually play it. I haven't seen it in a little while, but uh, it's really fun watching you. Like you crash into a wall and you just completely obliterate into a thousand pieces, but you can slowly <laughs> lose pieces over the course of the race too. Oh, that's funny. I've been that's... meaning to look at costs, see how much it costs and maybe get us into playing it. But that looks like it'd be, a, that sounds like it'd be fun to play. <laughs> no, no. You all right? Oh my god! I just fell with a zombie in the sand, but he burned to death, and I'm fine. <laughs> don't don't you I jump been, down there, Dodo? I uh, died last. I have been wandering like forever, and I still have not found anything like village wise or nothing. Nothing. Oh, I'm sorry. I That's lost my right second enough. village. If that makes you feel better, <laughs> it does not. <laughs> the fact that you found oh, sorry, a my, second village. My third village. I lost my yeah, third. Yeah, exactly. I lost. And then we're getting in a boot and going for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I got this is the luckiest world i think i've ever had when i had the uh, amplified world on my server there last year yeah some of the cave or cave systems you could find with mine shafts going in them were stunning yeah i know it just the maps are getting more and more gorgeous honestly and i'm really thrilled that this uh, these updates have actually turned out pretty good uh map detail i guess that's i don't know what you want to call it but the way the maps look looks really, really, really good. I'm really happy with the way they've turned out. Um, yeah. That being said, I hope their next update isn't what their last update was. <laughs> you mean nothing? <laughs> I mean useless, yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, one thing I have noticed, just walking around in 1.20, uh-huh. remember when 1.19, was it 19 or was it 18? Whenever they did like the um, mountain update, when that uh, first released, ni- you couldn't 19. walk through the world. Was it 19? 19, yeah. So you couldn't walk through the world without huge leg spikes. Like, it was brutal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Absolutely. I'm just running vanilla Minecraft right now. No Optifine, no nothing, and it's it's flawless. It's oh, not a problem. So oh, I know. I, I think they, didn't they rewrite it for this version for 20? I think maybe they optimized uh, a bunch of the, what do you call it, lighting updates and all that. I think they're supposed to be running on GPU instead of CPU. Okay. Everything is supposed to be a lot smoother. I think that was one of the the call outs that they had. I'm trying to go to sleep and the sun is going down, but I can't sleep because it's not 10:30 yet. It's not 10:30 yet. That's the time you can sleep in Minecraft. Is that uh, is that legit? Like oh, actual legit. time? 10:30, yeah. Oh, so really? Like, when, yeah, when you have like uh, journey maps on, it shows you the time yeah. of day. It's 10:30 when you can sleep. That's funny. But, yeah. So speaking of maps, good sir. Yes. I, I hear through the grapevine that there could possibly be a map for people to join soon. Is this the case? Kind of map. One like that a... is run by uh, um, uh, Mr. Lubcups. 
Like a Lovecraft server map? Yeah, like a Lovecraft server map. <laughs> See, this might be the case. I, I brought it up in my uh, Q&A I did a little bit ago. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I've got the world up, and I've got like 40% of the code done, like a red slash smiley slash icode slash whatever. Barry. Yeah, uh, he's I keep been getting helping pinged from a bunch of people on the, on the server there. So, yeah. he's uh, He's been helping with the actual like scripting of it, and it's been on hold for quite a bit like we started working on it a few months ago evelyn ended up having some seizures so we actually kind of took a step back i kind of stopped a lot of computer stuff then but i do want to get back into it i need help getting back into it <laughs> well you, you, you know I, i'm not a very good programmer when it comes to that kind <laughs> of stuff but i'm happy to help oh thanks buddy yeah <laughs> But yeah, there will be Lovecraft soon. I, I really want to get the Lovecraft server back up and running. I'm super excited. I have I have friends that are like, uh, yeah, let us know when that world is up so we can join. And uh, so I've been kind of selling selling the idea of your, your server launching. Just people nice. I, people that I know are here in town that they have either they have kids or they like to play. Okay, yeah, I gotta get that back up and running. Yeah, that's it's nice. honestly been so long. I I think I shut it down. A month or two. No, I think it was a month before I actually ended up having surgery. So. Oh wow, it's been a long time, dude. Yeah, it's been like a year and three or four months. Though. But I think yeah, it's been longer than that since you and I have been on there. Yeah, like I had shut it down, but I don't think we were actually on the server like since I left Florida. Yeah. And I left for Florida February in 2022. So. Holy crap, dude. Yeah, I need to get back on the Lovey Craft. Yeah, you do. I'm not doing as uh, I'm not committing to as an intense of a server like I had been in the past. It's a little more stripped down. Yes, because it was always very demanding of me, uh, demanding of me, and even though I put I don't know thirty, forty extra hours on top of my normal work schedule into it every week. Yeah, people always wanted more, so I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna like tone this down quite a bit and not yeah, make I mean, this all, as intense. All we need is a basic map, dude. We don't need we don't need some. We just need a place to play. You can make it vanilla yeah, for all exactly. we give a crap, you know. I could, but I wouldn't be happy with vanilla. So no, no, I, I don't think anybody generation. else would be too because there are so many griefers. Yes. And we'd have a lot of problems. But even with just world protection stuff, I still wouldn't be happy with playing vanilla because yeah, it, it, Minecraft is, like you, you said, it's getting more beautiful. It's still a very bland game to me. No, I... I like you I, see some I know, world it, generation it, plugins and data packs. They are It does stunning. need more because it... Because there are so many good modders out there that can crank out a mod over a weekend, and it blows me yeah. the freak away that it takes us so long to get these updates from uh, from Mojang that take you know six months a year to get. What really blows me away is Mojang, 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 whatever. whatever. Um, Same potato, potato. They had their uh, Minecraft live or whatever. Yeah. Last year. Yes. Two days later, someone had already uploaded a mod with everything they showed in the freaking update there is minecraft live they did that same now, thing with the uh, the copper update remember yeah now, i mean it may not have been polished to like absolute perfect where there weren't any bugs but they developed everything and added it to the game within two days and it takes mojane or mojane who already shows they have it in game because they showed all the live content at the whatever yeah over a year to add it to the game and how many what's their manpower that they have behind it too it's not you're not one or two people doing this you're uh, talking I, about I, a I, team i honestly i'm a little i i wouldn't be surprised if they have one maybe two people on the java side and they're just spending all of their time and resources on making their new like rpg the, game their little did. side and side games that they've been making money on yeah i mean yeah. that, that makes sense you? was it you i was talking with or somebody else who told me they're not allowed to um, what is it? Profit or make profit on the base Java game? Yeah, they're not so allowed like, to. Yeah, that was the agreement that uh, Mojang made. I with think they're Microsoft allowed to or whatever. I think they're allowed to profit. I don't. I think they're only allowed to profit so much. That, like they can't. Well, I think they're not allowed to like monetize the game. I think they're not allowed to outside mo of it. They're not allowed to monetize some of the the plugins and stuff like that for sure. That's but why like, you never you'll never see all the the add ons and. The open source aspect of it will never change because of that. I think that was yeah, definitely in the deal. I meant like for Bedrock Edition, that's why they're kind of focusing a lot on Bedrock Edition because they have the marketplace there where they're allowed to do that. And then correct because that was a rewrite of the game. Yeah, and then their new games with like Legends and uh, what's the new one called? I forget. They're all the freaking same anymore. 
Yeah. Have you played uh, them I mean, at all? No, I, I thought I was going to play it, and I just I haven't seen any YouTuber play it at all. I, like, I've seen wow. people play through it and then be done with it, and that's it. That's the type of game really? it is. That's the problem. <laughs> it's like I mean, that's great for a quick couple days worth of content, but that's I want to enjoy a game. Like I want the intrinsic value out of a game. Like the amount of right. hours I have in this freaking game is insane. You yeah, know what I mean? Thousands. Thousands. I I couldn't. I probably I mean, couldn't if even. I ex- I, I probably couldn't if even I exclude my time like developing in it. Just playing. I'm probably yeah, just still, playing. Yeah, just playing. Probably close to a couple thousand. Yeah, exactly. Easily, but I have no way of quantifying that. But I, I can almost no. guess that's accurate. Oh, I found another village. This is village number four. I Dude. I found nothing. Let's I am fifteen hundred blocks away from spawn now. Wow. And I, I would just go a uh, circles. slash locate. <laughs> <laughs> slash locate i know i'm trying to i'm just talking with people so that i'm just getting like a good adventuring episode in i guess <laughs> oh this is a little island village it's like in the middle of the ocean attached to this giant mountainside and it's got like four houses on it and that's it and no villagers they're just all dead and a camel oh no there's villagers huh i honestly might run the slash locate command just to see if i forgot to turn on structure generation oh that would be wouldn't that be interesting um okay whatever Slash locate. I would do it. If it's been that long and you haven't run into something, sure, you should yeah. run into a village every 800 blocks. All right. There is. There's one a thousand blocks away from me. I thousand don't know which direction it is. I'm not going to pull You're it up. You're not going to look write it down. Yeah, exactly. You just, just knowing that there's something there is hope. Yeah. In fact, I just cleared that so I won't see it again. Oh, but good. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to keep looking around, I guess. Uh, yeah. yeah keep looking. At least, at least you know they're there. Yes. Anyways, <laughs> uh, what other games are coming out? Uh, let's see here. We have, so Hot Wheels is cool. Oh, uh, another game that somebody else expressed. He's another Minecraft YouTuber. He's, he's uh, I think it's called Daddy MC or something like that. I can't remember his name, but um, I follow him on Twitter, not on YouTube. And he likes playing Minecraft, obviously, but he started playing a game called City Skyline. Oh, that's a cool game. So City, City Skyline 2. Uh, is getting fully released on October 24th and okay. it looks oh my god beautiful does it oh, oh I can't wait Lord. To see but that. it looks like you need to spend a lot of time on it in order to make it what they're showing right. online i know i watch um rc uh, real civil engineer a lot oh yeah YouTube, yeah yeah and he does a lot of city skyline stuff so i'll probably get my entertainment from the game by watching him play it, i think so too because there's a lot of a lot of games like that where it's fun to watch sometimes it's just more fun to watch others play than to try to play it yourself yes. yeah and just get frustrated with it when you can just like enjoy the other person playing it exactly yeah i i find that I find that to be more often than not uh on especially on build uh builder games like that where it's city simulators or whatever they are and you have to spend a lot of time in the game to try to progress as far as you can i mean you're you're talking about a butt ton of hours you know what i mean <laughs> do you ever get being an adult do you ever get a hard time for playing games okay i i haven't because you're not as old as down. i am so you're you're no, probably your demographics I, gonna be a little different i haven't sat down and played a game for fun in a long time oh that makes me so sad I, that hurts my I heart i know i i don't get like I spend so much time at my computer every freaking week working for YouTubers, working for myself, working for anybody. Like, I just try to get away from the computer as much as I can. And, yeah, I don't know. I just, I try to, I have. So you just don't play no games time. for for free, for fun, just for the hell of it. Yeah, no, I don't. And I really want to. Like, I bought the Harry Potter game because I was going to play that with Evelyn. I was super excited to play this game. Yeah. And I just, I haven't yet. I, I've got it downloaded on my computer. I just haven't opened it. I haven't had one minute in the game yet. Oh my goodness! So that's nuts, dude. Being a Minecraft developer, yeah, I get a hard time for. I make a living from playing Minecraft. I get that kind of a hard time. That's you know, it's frustrating because I don't. It, it's frustrating when you, when you talk to somebody and they don't understand. Yeah, that anything can be lucrative as long as there's money to be made. Yeah. 100% and even not if you're like even if you're just playing games for the fun of it it's people don't understand like oh they just oh. think it's a waste of time right oh it's absolutely no what are you doing this childish thing for while they're throwing yeah. a frisbee around <laughs> they're for, or they're just sitting and watching tv it's like more productive and more interesting to play a game than to sit down and watch tv or that yeah exactly and then i have the the friends on the opposite spectrum uh the ones that love 
sports. They wholeheartedly love sport. Why am I swimming through the water when my boat is right there? <laughs> they wholeheartedly <laughs> love sports, and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, sports are, I mean, whatever sport you happen to be in, that's fantastic. Enjoy enjoy what you enjoy. That's all I give a crap. Yep. And they ask me pretty regularly, hey, my kids watch, these are adults, right? So my, my kids watch uh, other people play Minecraft because they saw you know something about Minecraft in the, around the house or something, and they happen to bring it up because of the conversation starter. And um, do you ever find your kids watching other people play this video game? I'm like, not only do I find my kids watching it, I find myself watching it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm like, it's enjoyable. I, I really do enjoy watching other people play a game that I'm not wanting to play at that moment. Yeah. But you can just sit down on your Xbox or your PlayStation and play it. I'm like, yeah, and you can grab a football right now and play it, but you're watching a football game on TV. Well, I One guess thing it's I've... the same. It's exactly yeah, the same. 100% the same. 100%. One thing I found as a kid, too, like before I even played Minecraft, I watched hundreds of episodes of Stampy Long Nose's oh, same. Um, Lovely World. Oh, absolutely. Because I couldn't, my parents didn't buy me the game. I couldn't afford the game. So it's just like, yeah, I'm just going to watch. You're going to watch Stampy play. play. Game. Yeah. And there are a lot of people who genuinely cannot afford to buy a $20 video game. You're absolutely right. You're not wrong. And then not just the game, the thing to play it on too. Yes, 100%. You, you know what I mean? Not everybody can afford a console. Not everybody can afford a game, but most everybody has access to the internet. Not everybody, Tablets, but most everybody like a, does. A household tablet, household computer, right? Something. You get an hour with a computer or a week or something like that, and you want to watch someone play a video game? That's the most enjoyment you're going to get that week because that's what you can do. Exactly. And it's uh, quite honestly, I, I, I don't understand the thought process behind the negativity behind it. No, I don't either. And it's just like, it's where we're going in this world. It's just what it is. It really is. I mean, we're, I mean, we have technology all around us with AI coming in so strong. I wish I could utilize it a little more through the game of Minecraft. <laughs> um, I use it every day. I use chat GPT literally every day. And, uh, I've become very well versed in the way to ask it what I want to get out of it. And it's a lot of fun, quite honestly, to, to get to know how that works. And with technology all around us, video games included, why not embrace what we have versus fight it? I don't understand. I guess. Yeah. I guess it's just something they're not used to. So they're not going to, it's not going to be something for them to easily adopt. I mean, everyone plays the or uses the argument where people are not getting out of the house. People are getting kind of stuck inside their bubble where they're not comfortable with talking to sure. people. And I kind of get it. I, I do kind of get that. it. It's we we dub this generation the indoor generation for a reason because I mean they they we're starting them off with COVID. You know what I mean? <laughs> True. <laughs> they they don't have an option. Uh, but outside of that, still we are or they're dubbing it the indoor generation. But it's also becoming an indoor lifestyle. It really like, is. We have everything we want at our fingertips right here. I don't I don't have to leave anywhere to get what I want. I can order what I want to my house. I could play whatever games I want. I could watch whatever shows I want. Why do I want to leave? I love my house. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what scares a lot of at least older people who are used to being able to go out and get stuff or I talk think to you're people right. and they're not they're seeing the current generations not doing that and then all of a sudden that generation grows up and maybe they do stop playing video games but they no longer have the skills required to communicate or talk to or work a job even i mean yeah i can, I can see that you get a lot of uh introverts based off of that lack of skill or maybe just everybody's awkward and it's just fine <laughs> It's just fine. Yes, exactly. It's just fine. But I, I think I'm lost. You're like, good. Yeah, good. <laughs> good. Find I, found nothing. A, I found another village, though. I found a pillager outpost. That, that's, that's very cool. useful here. I found, is, I is there found a chest four in one of, these? of those broken portals. I found one broken portal. That's it. Oh, I'm in a really um, lush area. Is this I wish a I could bad have idea? you join. <laughs> this is going to be a horrible idea. Uh oh, don't do it. Don't do it. I'm okay, going to go check just out do this it. pillager outpost. What's that? I'm checking out the pillager outpost. Oh, it's never bad. Those are easy. You just rush to the top floor and you're fine. Yeah, there's 50,000 pillagers trying yeah, to shoot They're you. usually downstairs. <laughs> okay, so we were talking about like introverts and kids growing up playing video games, blah, yeah. blah, blah. I was, how old was I? I want to say I was 14, maybe 15 years old when I got my Xbox 360. Okay. And that's when 
I had Xbox Live, right? So like I was able to chat with yes. my friends playing video games, and yes. my parents thought that was the weirdest thing ever. I, you know, I'm right there with you because I I think that so I was I was married when when we uh, when I started playing games online, and I usually don't play games like for myself until it's really late. So everybody's asleep because it's kind of like no one's time. You know, I don't have to worry about you know kids or. Wife's asleep. I don't have to worry about any of that stuff. So I play games late at night, and I tend to log in. I used to pl- lo- log in and play. You know, you could play with eight people <laughs> online for your Minecraft world. I think they ch- yeah. changed it to twelve at some point, but that was it. Was always fun for me because I was like your live server of just you and your friends, and I really enjoyed having like that group of people that I played Minecraft with specifically, because then it turned into joining games for overwatch or joining games for whatever other game uh we'd have that that, a full pack of of people for whatever game we needed to because we had that little friend group uh from minecraft and it was a lot of fun i really enjoyed it i actually i didn't have much of a minecraft friend group i had a call of duty friend i shouldn't even say friend group i think there was two of us maybe three of us who would get together in calls and play call of duty oh yeah but Modern Warfare 3 was our go-to. Yeah, so you you played Call of Duty. I played, so I did a lot of Halo gameplay back in the day. I never touched Halo. Really? Well, I was, yeah. um, I was, when I got my Xbox 360, I was like all in. I loved my Xbox, right? Yeah. And I didn't play any online Halo. I loved just the campaigns. I really okay. enjoyed the campaigns. I love any gameplay campaign uh, vers- versus the uh, the online play most of the time. I would always like any kind of first person shooter game. I'd always just go and do the uh, campaign, but modern warfare's uh, online was always fun with friends. And I was the um, annoying knife person. Oh, you just went through and just shanked everybody. I had a throwing knife, which honestly took a lot of skill to use. And uh, yeah, I just shanked. Well, everybody. Then you would love to hear that on freaking November 10th, call of duty, modern warfare three is coming out. They're re like they're redoing it. They must be redoing it for uh, all consoles, and uh, which is odd because Microsoft owns them now. But they're releasing it for PlayStation, PlayStation Four and Five, uh, PC obviously, and then the Xbox Series stuff. Huh. But Microsoft owns that. I thought for sure they would keep it to themselves, but they're like, no, we're gonna we're gonna release it to the world again. Yeah, they probably want probably make more money having it. I would platforms. think so. They, I know they've been trying to drive up their their sales for their. Uh, What's it Console. called? Yeah, the the Game Pass. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Game Pass, and they've been trying to drive those up for a while now, and they're trying to use a lot of these games from these gaming companies that they've been buying up left and right um, as what do you call it? Candy to draw people in to to uh, play Game Pass versus anything right. else, which and is Game cool. Pass is like Netflix for video games, right? Correct. Yeah, exactly. You get I think it's uh, ninety nine games on rotation plus whatever they throw into the mix. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, there's some good ones in there. We used to have Game Pass. We had it for like a little while. And there were maybe like five or six games on there that were really cool. But everything else was literally whatever. I kind of had uh, I had something similar to that with uh, my VR headset. Oh, yeah. Uh, I forget what it was called. I think it was Vive something. Oh, yeah. And it was like Netflix for VR games. So you just load into the one world. And you had like 40 to 50 games you could just randomly play. And that was kind of cool. I need to sell my Vive. I don't use it anymore. I feel that. Like I, I want to use it. I want to have it set up somewhere. I just don't have the space for it. Yeah, I, I want to. I'm gonna pull. I just pulled down the uh, the towers and I yep. put it in its box and I'm gonna freaking sell the damn thing. I'm done with it. <laughs> sell it in one of my computers and call it a day. Somebody could have themselves a VR rig. That would probably go for like over a grand, wouldn't it? I was thinking I could probably sell them both for a grand. Okay. And if I can get a thousand dollars for both of them, I'd be super ecstatic. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> I know I paid a hell of a lot more for both of them, but <laughs> that was uh, years ago, you know. Might be the uh, time of year to do it now that Christmas is coming yeah, up. Yeah, you know, you're absolutely right. That's a good idea. All right. I'm kind of sad that Christmas is coming up, actually. I kind of. I know. I'm where like the not summer ready. go? Where'd the uh, year go? I'm not ready for Christmas yet. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been ready, ready for Christmas yet. I'm still, like, dreading Halloween. <laughs> I felt like I just paid rent, like, last week. <laughs> you got to pay it again. <laughs> I got to pay it again in three days. Like, are you serious? <laughs> oh, that's crazy. How fast time goes by, too. Oh, I know. Time time is just flying. It's freaking nuts. Uh, and I find for, the older you get, the faster it goes. For sure, yeah. For those of you that are younger, enjoy every freaking minute because, dang, your time, you're sitting around going, I'm bored. 
Dude, that time goes by so fast when you're when when, when back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> back in the day, T's getting old. Oh man! Uh, All right, I like this village I found. I think I'm gonna call this home. Um, it's surrounded by three other villages. I can see another one right there that I haven't been to. Oh, cool! And uh, mangrove forest on that side. Uh, yeah, it's a good spot. I like this spot. I'm just gonna make it really, really nice and shiny. <laughs> I was gonna make my home with some polar bears, but then they started attacking me. So. <laughs> They said, no, this is our home. You don't get to live here. Yeah. I still haven't found a single village. I'm, I'm refusing to call anything home until I find some free loot. Oh, yeah. I found a nice... I have a, a couple chests full of loot. No, I've got... The only thing I haven't found, I found all this desert area. I have not found a desert temple. That's what I'm really looking for. Get the good loot at the bottom. The good loot just at the bottom. blow it all up. Yeah. Just blow it up. Just land right on it. Yeah. Oh, I found an igloo. This is going to be my home for today. You found an igloo? Yes. I, do, I haven't seen an igloo for years. Oh, uh, it's not one of the good ones with the villager hole. Oh, no. Dang it. You know what else I haven't found for a really long time is a woodland mansion. Yeah, I've I've seen them so many times, like, working on maps, but I've never stumbled across one. I've Yeah, when, I've, when I'm looking for one, I cannot find it. And I've probably in the last maybe dozen or so maps that I've joined that are somebody else's, that it's a survival world, I, I have not been able to find a freaking woodland <laughs> mansion for the life of me. I, I don't think I've seen one since... What version was that? 14? 13? When they came out? Wow. It's, it's been a minute. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while, man. So, yeah. So, I think we're going to try to do these maybe once a week. So yes. So, it'll be good. I think so, yeah. If you guys enjoy these, let us know in the comment section below um, or by simply uh, smashing that like button. Also, if you guys have any suggestions for topics you want to hear us talk about. Oh, yeah. That's a good one right below. there. But, yeah, that's where we're going to end it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to have a lovely day. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. See ya.